Actually, what y'all gonna be getting today is a two for one today. I'm gonna go through me lining up my beard with a pair of clippers, and then I'm gonna go next with the straight razor, so y'all can kind of see that. Now you can straight razor your beard at home. You ain't gotta go to the barber shop every time or view them in between cuts and all of that, and you don't wanna spend that extra money or whatever. I'm gonna show y'all how to rock it at home. This is my trusty bag right here. I keep uh, at least my liners in here. Now my other clippers, I keep that in another whole case right now. But with my edges, it goes down to here. My straight razor, go down to here. You want to make sure you keep all your stuff contained in one spot. So when you go to look for it, man, you can find it easily. Now one of the products I do sometimes use, I don't use it all the time, I ain't going to lie. This ain't a paid sponsor video. I don't use it all the time, but every now and then, uh, sometimes I'll use the Cut Buddy. Uh, especially if you're trying to advertise a line. You can find that available at thecutbuddy.com. It's pretty cool. I usually use that when I'm lining up people, if I'm edging up people, if I'm giving a fade and stuff like that. Now check it. One of the products I do use, man, I like to use the Andis Styliner 2s. Uh, these joints here, man, I've had them for a while. I did switch the blade uh, on them recently, maybe a couple months ago, because I don't really use it too often. I got a favorite that I actually use, but I do use this. This is a really good clipper, man. It, it um it definitely does its thing, you know what I'm saying? I can't even complain. Um, is it the outliner or the style liner? If I said it wrong, man, y'all let me know. Get down in the comments and let me know. But yeah, it is zero gap, um, you know what I'm saying, to give you that close lineup. So I'm gonna actually be using this today, and I'm gonna be using my straight razor today. It's a magnum, I bought it on eBay, and um, it's got the replaceable uh, blades in there that you put the blades in and you get to get to work. So yeah, you definitely want to be careful with this. Um, it's definitely a process in order to use this to ensure that you don't cut yourself up. You don't want to cut yourself up. You don't want to go to the ER and Scarface. You don't want to be looking like that. So make sure y'all use caution when using the straight razors. I don't recommend it for everybody. Um, people that's of age and uh, you definitely want to practice first before you go straight into your face. So if you got a little brother or, or, or your dad or somebody like that, practice on them first. No, I'm joking. But no, you want to practice on at least a balloon or something like that just to make sure you're holding the blade the right way and you will not cut yourself or cut someone. All right, yo, it's time to line the beard up, man. Again, I got my Andis here ready. Finna get this beard on point. You know what I'm saying? You got to clean up all them stragglies and all that. Uh, me personally, man, I got a different way. Um, that I like to do it. Some people may do theirs a little bit different, but I've been doing this, man. I've been lining myself up, man, for about 20 years, man, ever since I was a teenager. So um, I'm going to show y'all, you know what I'm saying, my method, man. You can, if you got your own method or whatever, that's cool. You can fast forward a little bit in the video and get to the straight razor part. But yeah, so basically, this is the lineup right here, and this is how I do my thing. First, I'd go under my neck. You want to get all the little straggly hairs from under there. You're going to go as far as you can go. Now, if you have an extra mirror, you can always put an extra mirror down there just so you can um, kind of see how it's looking from under the under the actual neck. Because, uh, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you get big beard status, man, it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on up under there. So you can do it like that. Next, man, you want to make sure that you got a brush, man. You want to make sure you brush your hair in your desired style before you actually outline. I notice um, a lot of times when people go to edging their hair, man, like sometimes if you ain't brushing it in the right direction, if you just go in on it, you kind of tend to push it down a little bit lower. So you want to make sure you brush it up, brush it up and then outline what's brushed up in there instead of just trying to outline it. And then next thing you know, you look like you got a chin strap beard going on and that ain't hot. In my opinion, I don't dig that. But yeah, that's what we finna do. All right, so I got a little bitty brush. Uh, I usually use a bigger brush, man, but this is all I can find right now. It's in my bag. I got like 15,000 brushes spread out across everywhere, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to get right into it with this little bitty cheap little brush right here. So right now I'm brushing my beard into my desired style. So what I do is I usually, when I get to the edge right here, I usually brush upward just to make sure I don't trim it too narrow. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side over here. Now when you're 
up yourself. You always want to make sure you puff out your cheek because it helps you get a lot firmer line when you're going across here. If you do it like this, your skin is is too soft. So I know a lot of y'all know when you go to a barber, they make you stick, you blow your cheeks out like a little puffer or whatever. So we're about to do that right now. See the line, nice straight line going across. Now I'm gonna actually get behind there. You wanna make sure your line is fresh and crispy. You want your nice crispy line going across, man, right? You wanna be on point at all times. So we're about to hit this line right here on the behind next to the ear. Now we're about to do the other side. It's real simple, real simple. So next, um, next I'm getting ready to actually do the mustache part. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you want to make sure that your mustache is on point. I was actually going to get right into the straight razor cut, but... I figured, I said, you know what, man, they may want to know how to actually load a straight razor if they decide to purchase their own straight razor. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and drop this part in the video too, man, to show y'all how I actually reload it. Um, it does currently have a blade in it right now, but I'm actually going to load a new blade in here because this one has been used. I want to make sure that you, you stay in fresh, man. You want to make sure that everything is sanitized and good to go so basically once you get a straight razor like this I like to get the ones with the uh, disposable razor so you can switch it out you don't gotta sit there and sharpen it it's already sharp so um, basically what I got man I got the Dorco razors it comes like this right here looks like this comes in a little packet and what you gotta do man you gotta actually split the razor in half you give it a nice little break Give it a nice little break down the middle and it will fit inside the slots of your straight razor mechanism, which I'm going to show y'all how to do it. So right now, this is the old razor right here. Little slot, little slot here. Let me adjust it. There we go. It's got a little slot right here. You just push this out. Take the old razor out. You see it's a little rusty because I had water in there. So I'm about to take this old razor out. Basically, this is how the slot looks right here. Once you get your razor loaded, you load it on here, slide it back in there, and you're ready to rock. A lot of people are scared to break the razors, man. It's not that bad, especially when you got it in some paper. You know what I'm saying? You just take it. Let me show y'all. Basically, you just take the razor, snap it and it breaks in half. I'm gonna show you what the pieces look like now. It will look like this. See how it's got the little edges on there? Come back a little bit. It will look like this once this, once you broke it in half. And you just load it on your razor. I know when I was looking on YouTube, I'm like, man, I wanna get a straight razor, but how y'all loading these things? I tried to stick the whole razor in there the first time. True story, man. Till I found one video, forgot the guy's name, but shout out to you, man. 
Showed me how to load my razor, bro. You changed my life, bro. So check this out. So we're getting ready to load the razor. Here it go right here. Sharp part down. It's got little grooves already built in there for you. All you gotta do is just set it on there. There we go. So now I got it nice and lined up. So now I'm about to push the thing back on there. Alright, so basically once you get it in there, man, it's gonna look kind of like this here, depending on what kind of razor you got. You got a little blade going on, and now you can chop and screw your face. Nah, I'm joking. Don't do that. But, um, yeah, your razor should be sitting good, so now you got enough room to get it popping in there. So, now I actually do not shave my head with this. I actually shave my head uh, with the uh, the Dollar Shave razors, man. They, I, li I love those razors, no doubt. Um, I'm able to shave my head real fast. It goes quick. Um, but as far as with my face, I want my face to be, you know, have a line on it, so that's why I use a straight razor. Now, as far as a lot of people put maybe shaving cream on their face and all of that, um, in order to line their beards up with the razor, I personally don't do that because I want something, when I put it on there, I can kind of see where the line is. You put on shaving cream, it's all white, you ain't going to be able to see exactly where you need to be at. Dollar Shave actually makes a really good product I like to use on my face. It's called, um... Easy Shave Butter by Dr. Carter's. I like using this right here because it's kind of clear when you put it on. We put this on here. Go around your line. I just start with one side at a time. I don't want to put both on at one time because it does, it will dry out on you. Now a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, you want to kind of pull the skin to make sure that where you straight razor and it's going to be nice and tight. What I'm going to do right now, since I only got one free hand, I'm just going to rock with it like this. Again, you're going to do the puffer. We want to come make sure your blade is at a 45 degree angle before you touch your face. If you come straight down with the razor, you're going to cut yourself. You're going to split yourself wide open. So you want to make sure you're at a 45 degree angle. So we got one side done, as y'all can see, nice and crispy line, fresh. So y'all, that was a quick little video of me lining up my beard. Um, hopefully y'all found this information helpful. You know what I'm saying? Some of the products I actually use, I put the link below, or you can check Amazon.com. I'll put the names of the actual products on there so y'all can go find it. A lot of the stuff I bought, man, was from sellers. They may not be available anymore, but I want to at least give you the information of some of the products I actually use. So hopefully y'all find this thing helpful. So make sure y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see y'all next time.